In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this vector watercolor fill using Adobe Illustrator. So let me come over here into Illustrator and I'll get started. I'm going to grab my squares and rectangles tool and I will hold shift on the keyboard and click and drag to draw a square. Now I'm going to fill this square with the color that I'd like my watercolor to be based around. So I'm going to choose a color that I'd like to work with and I'm going to remove the stroke. So let me come over here to the stroke setting and click on this red slash to remove the stroke. And now I'm going to grab my meshes tool, which is located over here in the toolbar. And if you don't have access to any of the tools that I reference in this video, just come up here to the window menu and go to toolbars and choose advanced. Sometimes you don't have access to every tool if you're not using the advanced toolbar. So now that we've done that, I'm going to come over here to my meshes tool and with the meshes tool enabled, I'm going to click on the graphic to add new coordinate points and I will just click at random spots. Do not worry about them being evenly spaced apart. In fact, it works better if they're not. And once you've added enough of these points, you can grab your lasso selection tool and click and drag over a portion of these anchor points and make them a different color. So I'll choose this color that I originally worked with and I'll make this one maybe a little lighter. And I'll do the same thing over here. I'll select these nodes over here and I'll use the same shade for those ones. And then maybe over here towards the middle, I'll grab some more nodes and I will make these ones a different shade, maybe something with more red added to it. And then I'll use that same shade over here as well. Okay, so at this point you should have something like this. I'm gonna grab my selection tool and click off of the graphic to deselect everything. And now click on it again to select it. And I'm going to come over here to the width tool. And if you hold a click over that, you can come down here to the bottom of this list. You'll see the wrinkle tool, select the wrinkle tool and use the tool to just click and drag over the anchor points to change their position. And when you release the click, you can see it creates a watercolor sort of effect. And then I'll grab my selection tool and I will rotate this around just so I can change these lines to go in different directions. So I'll go back to my uh, wrinkle tool and I will do the same thing, only moving these lines in different directions now. And what we have now is a vector square that can be used as a watercolor fill.